Hello, I am hopping on to share a sneak peek of some of the new dies coming out in the October release at Scrap Diva Designs. The release this month will be available on October 5th, so be sure to mark your calendars. Um, I am designing part-time for Erica, so I have some of the dies here that I'm going to be working with, so I thought I would share what I have, and also uh, I've made two projects. Well, mostly two projects, two samples, let's call it that, um, to share with you guys. So I thought I would hop on here and share those as well. So the first, um, well, first up, I want to share the info for Scrap Diva Design. So this is uh, their website. You can go to info at scrapdivadesigns.com, um, the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs, and you can find them on Instagram and YouTube and all that good stuff. So be sure to tag them on social media. Um, and so I'm going to share uh, some of these dies with you. Uh, mine do not have the stickers on them, so I'm going to try to just obscure the design a little bit. Um, it just helps people from, you know, trying to steal the design. So um, anyways, first up, I have this super, super cute hedgehog. So this cute set is called Hedgehog Mini Album. And it comes with all of the pieces that you need to make this adorable little hedgehog. So I did piece this one together. And I think it's just the sweetest thing. I have not made it into anything yet. It's just an embellishment piece right now. I'm actually thinking I'm going to turn this one into a card. So I, um, but I haven't gotten that far yet. So I just wanted to share. I, you know, made the little hedgehog. It does have arms, but I decided to leave those off um, just because I had this little sign in the middle and uh, this stamp is from the new stamp set. So I wanted to try to use that and incorporate that on here. Um, but I wasn't sure. I just, I couldn't get the hands placed correctly. It just looked better um, without because the sign was taking up so much space. But just know it does come with the little hands and they are super duper cute. Um, to put this together, I just cut it out of my uh, colored cardstock and I put some little chalk on the cheeks and a little bit of chalk down here on the feet as well. And I think it just turned out super, super sweet. So that is going to be really fun. And like I said, this stamp set here is part of the new release as well. So that was sent to me too. And it has a lot of really cute sentiments on it. Um, these are photopolymer stamp sets. So that means they're going to stamp really well every time. Um, this is called Fall Stamp Set. And it comes with all of these really fun sentiments, and they're so darling. They're perfect for projects, the insides of cards, tags, um, you know, whatever you're making. They're just going to be great. Memory keeping. Um, I can see myself using the stamp set for all kinds of things. So let me read the sentiments to you. Uh, it's Hello Pumpkin, Pumpkin Spice Everything, Grateful, Fall Vibes, Autumn Vibes, Farm Fresh Pumpkins, Hello Fall, Blessed, Sweater Weather, and Welcome Fall. And they're really good size sentiments and super, super cute. You're going to love these. So this is the fall sentiment set. And like I said, I did stamp this one out here on this little sign that the little hedgehog is holding. So let me just tuck that right there. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, the next set that I have to share is, give me one second, the Pumpkin Mini Album number two. So this is um, the die set. And again, I don't have a sticker, so I'm going to just uh, hold my hand over it. But basically, it comes with the uh, pumpkin die to create a mini album. So, so cute. And then it comes with a face die and the little vines and a spider and a nose and all the things that you need, a stem, all that good stuff. So let me share what I made with this die. Um, I did make a little sample, and I think it turned out really sweet. I did not put the face on because I did layer up some die cuts that I had uh, that go with the collection that I used, but you can get a pretty good idea. So it cuts out the middle pump patterned part of the pumpkin, and then you've got the stem, and the vines. These leaves came from a different set that I'm about to show you in a minute. So I used some of the leaves from that set to add on here. And then I layered that on top of this hot pink paper 
that has faux stitching and then I put the whole thing on a black piece of paper. And again, I'm not sure how I'm going to use this right now. It's just a flat embellishment, but I will create something and, you know, turn it into a finished project pretty soon. So, but I did want to go ahead and share it with you guys so that you could get an idea of what that set looks like. So really, really cute. Um, okay, so let me show you the uh, set where I got the leaves. This is the acorn mini album and this set has a ton of leaves in here it also has the word fall and then it has all the layering pieces for the acorn really really cute and these this is where I got all the leaves so there's like a ton of leaves in here. here's one two three four five six seven eight different leaves in this in this die set so you're gonna get a lot of great use out of this and um, it says uh, there's also a hello die on the back it's like a hello word that has a um, shadow piece behind and then there's a really nice layering uh, part for the acorn on top so this is a super fun die set that you are really gonna love for fall perfect for fall okay and then um, I also have the um, a2 card box add-on so this is this goes with the uh, card box die, but you can also use this for making cards. Okay, so this is a leaf add-on uh, set here. It is for an A2 uh, box card, but you can make a larger card with this. Um, this would be really cute just to create like an instant background. Um, you could also use it for other projects. You can create a gift bag with this, uh, all kinds of things. So really looking forward to using this. I love these little branches that it comes with. Those are going to be fun to use on lots of different projects. So again, great for fall, um, but I think you could carry this over into spring. Um, you know, you could make um, all kinds of different cards with this So or projects with this. So really cute. Okay, and then um, the last set that I have to work with is the Fall Jelly Tote, and it is um, the super cute Jelly Tote die, and it has the acorns that are going to fit in the Jelly Tote, and um, it creates a little acorn pattern, and then you get two little acorns and the die to turn those into tags, and then, of course, the panel here, um, I'm going to do this, has lots of acorns on it, so you can kind of see what that looks like. So, really, really cute. So stay tuned. I'm going to have more projects to come. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and sort of share what I had already created so that you know what's coming up. So October 5th is going to be the release date and all of the dies and um, the stamp set are going to be available. I believe there are 15 total dies being released. So that is super awesome. So be sure to head over to the website on October 5th and check everything out. Uh, this stuff was sent to me for free as part of the design team and I will be using it to create some projects to share with you guys. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.